Hi, my name is Molly McGinnis, and I'm completing my final reflection vlog for Speech 101 on my ceremonial speech in this semester as a whole. My first question is, how do you think you have advanced as a public speaker during this semester? I found that I was way more confident and um, was a, it was a lot easier to deliver my speeches as the semester went on, and I feel like I've learned that a lot this semester. I also have found that while delivering my speech, I'm not so... Um, I'm not talking so fast and I'm slowing down my speech because of the time limits, um, the five to eight minutes or the maybe majority more, but um, I've had to slow down my speech and portray things to people in a lot slower way so I can get my time limit or my time and um, to be able to um, have people understand me. Um, what is the most important concept or theory you've learned from our textbook? Did it apply to your everyday life? Um, in chapter one, I talked with about with dialogue with the audience. I thought it was really important because it was talking about reducing your anxiety. And um, I feel like I'm a leader in a lot of situations in school and outside of school. And I talk with a lot of small audiences, maybe three or four people, um, a lot on a weekly basis. And I feel like it's really important to not have anxiety when talking to these people. And as I've done these speeches and talked with these guys, my anxiety has decreased because I've gotten so comfortable with it. Um, recommend, me, recommend to me, your instructor, what you would start, stop, and continue if you were teaching this course next semester. Um, I thought we did a lot of things that helped me, and I don't think I would stop anything, and I would continue to um, do all of these speeches and all the discussions and all the reflection vlogs because those really helped to get to know people and to be more confident with speaking. Um, the next is a few questions on my ceremonial speech. Um, how did you choose your topic? Uh, this season, um, I was a, well not this, just this season, but for um, a long time now I've been a big Royals fan and my family, um, on my dad's side, goes down to a lot of Royals games. We go down to Kansas City at least four or five times a summer, hit some Royals games, um, and this season I was fortunate enough to go to the Division Series since they made it so far, um, being able to go, you know, being making it to the World Series and all. But um, I went to the um, Game 4 of the Angels where they swept the Angels, so it was really cool to be able to go there and... Um, I have a few favorite players, Eric Hosmer being one of them, so when I found out this, it was kind of just a no-brainer for me to pick him and to um, give him all the praise and thanks that he should get for this having a wonderful season. How did you do your research? Um, my research came from a lot of sports websites and um, newspaper articles, being that they um, Rose were in the World Series, they got a lot of publication in art, um, newspapers and on websites and in different things. They were all over for the period of time. They were in Sports Illustrated, they were on ESPN all the time. They were just everywhere um, sports related. So it was quite simple to find articles on Eric Hosmer and what he has done for the Royals. Um, how did you practice your delivery? I practiced my delivery in a full size mirror. I stood there with my note cards and kind of just spoke to myself and found the flaws that I had and made sure I could fix those. Um, I didn't feel like I delivered my speech very well. Um, I got really nervous, but I felt that um, I practiced it well. I just maybe should have put a little bit more time into um, just being confident with my speech. Did you establish a credibility as a speaker and credibility of resources? I noted the author and title and website that I found all of my sources on before I began speaking about these sources, so I thought that helped a lot. Did you get less or more nervous as the speech progressed? The, for this speech, I got a lot more nervous as it progressed. I usually get less nervous, but for this one, it was some, some odd reason I got more nervous and looked down on my note cards a lot more, feeling that they gave me comfort, and which was not a good thing. Um, how did your audience respond to your speech? My audience responded very well. Um, they thought I had some really good points and that Eric should get the things that I gave him. Um, what did your speech do in your speech at work and what didn't? Um, I thought that I did a lot of nonverbals, which worked really well, and I looked down on my note cards a lot, which did not work very well. But areas can target for improvement. I would improve my looking at my note cards a lot because I really struggled with that this time. Um, it came like second nature to just doing a lot of nonverbals and for second and third this 
as a speech went on. Um, it was a really great semester to learn that, and it was just kind of easier now that as I do a speech, just say first, second, third, as it goes on. So um, this semester in speech was really great, and I thank you for teaching it.